Okay, I'm going to show you how an American eats Vegemite. Well, actually, this is based on what I understand Australians do, but my own way still. Um, you know, you'll, you'll see a lot of people who just like take a spoonful and say, oh my gosh, this tastes awful. Um, first rule of Vegemite Club, Vegemite is not Nutella. It is not peanut butter. Uh, Hugh Jackman once said, it's salt. You use it sparingly. Okay? I'm an American. The tradition is to use white bread. Whitest bread you can find. Well, uh, I'm not much into white bread, so I'm, you know, I'm in the San Francisco area. Sourdough. Okay. First step, what you want to do is toast it a little bit. In the toaster oven. Uh, I don't want. I don't like to get it really brown and real toasty. I like to get it just a little bit, uh, just a little harder, a little bit more crisp. And we're going to use Irish butter, Kerrygold. This stuff is the bomb. Ding! Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, it's warm, not overly burned. I like a good healthy amount of butter. The nice thing about the heat is it helps it melt the butter if it's still a little bit frozen there. Well, it's not frozen. But Also, as uh, Hugh Jackman once said, rich, creamery butter. It was a smooth, creamery butter. Fresh, creamery butter. Now I don't want to get the butter in the jar of Vegemite, it might you know, fester in there. So, something like that is pretty good for a big piece like this. Kind of spread it around lightly. So I'll even go a little bit more than this sometimes. But if you're just starting out, you probably don't want a lot. It's just a, it's salt. It's a, it, it, it enhances the flavor of things. It's not, uh, it's, it's not meant to just like overpower everything. I mean, there are people who will just chug hot sauce, but you know, that's not really what you're supposed to do with it. <laughs> close up there. Alright. 
you get my face or what you I just got your mouth. Okay. That's good. It's really good. Wanna try some? Sure. Do you like it? Oh yeah. And I'm not even a big fan of sourdough, so that's something that you guys should realize that it's really good. Delicious. Okay, now for some, this might be more intense for some people. Um, you'll see people often eat it on crackers. Um, I like Ritz. These aren't actually Ritz. These are kind of like an imitation Ritz. These aren't quite as buttery as Ritz. But again, use, it, it's a little bit stronger on this than it would be on the bread. I mean, you can do it really lightly if you like, but. but that's about like what I would do on a Ritz. But yeah, you'll see people do it on a cracker, but they'll put it on like they're put, spreading on peanut butter. Might be a little intense. It's not as uh, though you don't have you don't have the butter, you don't have the big amount of bread. Oh, these crackers suck. <laughs> these are really really flimsy crackers. I think that one has a little too much on it. Got a little butter on it. It was left over on the plate. <laughs> it's pretty good. I like it. You may not. This you really do. This is where you you do really taste the Vegemite. It's not when you do it this way. So. I mean, you taste it otherwise, but it's it's more of an enhancement. Here, you, you you're doing it for the for really some of the Vegemite flavor. Let's see what Electra Ninja thinks. I'll be starting with the Ritz. Not bad. I honestly think the cracker is the worst part of it. <laughs> well, it's not a real Ritz, so yeah, it's kind of a. Cheap imitation. Cheap imitation. Well, I don't know if it's cheap. It's like an organic imitation. <laughs> okay. And the other one. I'd say it's a little bit better than the Rex imitation, but both are good. Really? You like it? Hi. <laughs> Cool. Well, thank you. <laughs> but on. Well, big thanks to Electra Ninja for operating the camera and for being a guinea pig. We just did a video where we talk about um, Alita Battle Angel. Uh, check it out. Uh, link in the description. Goodbye.